Hello, in this video I'll give you an introduction to rigging and I'll show you how you can create your own first custom rig from scratch. If you want to follow along, you can look in the description if I link to this teddy bear right here. So the first thing I want to do is have a good naming convention. So if you look at this bear right here, I give it the name of teddy bear body, teddy bear eyes, and teddy bear nose right here. I have a previous video on how I can model this, and this is what I got from the previous video. But what you want to do is have your model in the T-pose like this. And that'll make rigging and skinning and adding bones a lot easier here. Because if you look right here, notice how under his armpit area, the geometry is very close from his arm to his torso right here. So it's kind of hard to select these vertices here. But if you move it apart right here, it'd be much easier to create the skeleton and skin the character. So I'll just hide this right here. So let's begin. First, you can press F3 to go into wireframe mode here. And we can go, for example, into the right viewport. Press F3 and let's start by creating his leg bones. So we can go into animation and then we can use bone tools right here. All right, and create bones. So let's start right here. So let's say this is his thigh bone right here calf bone and then foot right here. Once you're done with the chain, you can simply right click and a nub will be created right here. Now you may be wondering what the purpose of this is. Sometimes you'll use them and sometimes you won't, but it's a good idea to keep this and deleting it. So let's turn off create bones and let's select the first bone right here and notice how it's automatically linked them all together. So when you're creating a skeleton for your character here, you don't have to use bones. You can use pretty much any geometry, but bones have certain properties which make them easier to use. For example, if you right click object properties, they are not under by default and they're nicely linked together here. And you can go into the modify panel and customize their width and height here. So they got a lot of nice options here with taper. We can activate fins just to better represent how much the bone controls and things like that. So it's a good idea to use bones, but remember you can use other things as well. So this is going to be for his left leg. So I can move this to the left. But beforehand, let's give this a name. So a simple name convention is bone underscore L underscore thigh. I can simply copy this and simply paste this right here. we we'll change thigh to calf. And then this will be foot. And then for this, I will call this bone nub underscore L underscore foot. All right. I also want to give this a blue color. So a good visual indicator is to make your left bones blue and your right bones green. So L B R G. So I can just select all of these and use gradient coloring here. So for example, I'll just make them all blue. Let's select so, and I will just drag this into here, copy. And for example, I'll make this a little bit lighter, for example, here and apply gradients. So now it goes from a darker blue to a slightly lighter blue, although you can make this even lighter if you want. So here we are, and now I can go into the front viewport and position this right here and switch to rotate and pretty much rotate a little bit as well. All right, there we are. So now what we can do is select these bones. I'll just press Alt Q to isolate this real quick and we can mirror them to the other side as well. So we can go into mirror and X, there we go. So now how do we get this to the exact opposite side? Well, it's very simple here. You can just press W or click here to go into select the move, select this, and notice how this is 25.327. Well, we can simply control C to copy that, select this, enter the negative sign and paste that value. And now it's on the exact opposite side right here. So let's make this green. Copy, you can simply click here and drag and let go right here and make this a little bit lighter and apply gradients. But we have a problem right here. If you actually click on this, notice how, first of all, it's L, even though it should be underscore R for right. And also we have this mirrored here and they all have it. 
So what you can do is select all of this and of course manually change it. However, in the description you'll find a script and this is a nice renamer script that allows you to quickly rename objects. You can simply drag it into your viewport, you'll create a new category when you go into customize, customize user interface. You can also run it by going to scripting and run script. So I'll run that script right now. So this is a script by someone named Timo called Timo Renamer version 1.0. So if we look at the end of this, we can count how many characters there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I can do is select all this and remove from end. I will enter in 10 right here. We want to remove 10 characters because we want to remove this mirrored from all of them. We also want to find and replace. So we want to replace underscore L underscore with underscore R underscore. So we can click on replace, remove from end. And if we select the bones now, notice how they have all been renamed with underscore R for right. And the mirror has also been removed. So it's a very nice script here. Let's also start putting this into the proper layers. So I'll just go into Layer Explorer. Let's create a new layer right here. Call this Teddy Bear. All right, and let's create a nested layer as well. And all that means it's a layer nested within another layer right here. So select your layer, click on Create New Layer, and notice how it's now underneath of Teddy Bear. And we'll select this and rename this, and this will be Bones. And let's also click on Teddy Bear again and create a new one. And we can rename this to, let's say, Body. And let's also create a new layer here and we can call this Bone Nubs. Because it's a good idea to get them a separate layer here for quickly selecting one of what we want right here. So I'll make Body Active. I'll select the bear's geometry and I'll click on this button right here, which is Add to Active Layer. And now all of these three objects are on the body. I'll press Control i to select Inverse. And I will make Bones active here and add the bones to there. And so now I'll deselect these six bones right here, left with the nubs, and I'll make Bone Nubs active and add that here. So now we've got the body geometry under body, Bone Nubs under Bone Nubs, and Bones under Bones. So since I'm going to be creating more bones, I will make bones active here and any new objects created will be going in this nested layer right here. All right, so next I can use the front viewport. I just move this a little bit to the left right here and I can use create bones and I can create some arm bones from right here. So let's say I can start right here. Click, 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 right click. All right, let's also create some spine geometry as well. Just very simple here. You can also create a hip bone as well, but in this case, I will just create a spines. So I don't make it too complex, so I'll just create two spine bones right here. All right, so let's also create a head bone as well. And what I can do is hover over this nub right here. And when I click on it, notice how a new bone is created right from the tip right here. So this is the head. All right. I can also create, let's say, an ear bone as well if we want that here. All right, there we are. So whenever there's a bone in the center, I like to make it red. So I will select the center ones right here. And I'll give this a color of red right here. And that way we have RGB for our bone system here. And we can easily tell which is supposed to be in the center, which is left, which is right. And now I'll select these left bones here and make them blue as well. In order to get that blue color here, I can select one of these bones and copy this blue right here. You can also simply create all of your left bones first and then just have to mirror it once right here. So I'll just paste that right here and apply gradient. And next, I will give them their name as well. So let's just 
start by selecting one of these bones and just control C to copy this naming convention. So this is, let's say the bicep area. And this is the forearm. And this is the bone nub for the forearm. And this will be the ear and the bone nub here. All right, so now I will mirror them. Select this, insert negative and then paste that value right here. and make them green as well. All right, there we are. Now, one thing we can also do here is center out our center bones right here. And also, we can remove this nub right here because right now it doesn't really serve a purpose. So since this is our first rig right here, we're gonna keep it very basic here. Normally you can make a much more complex spine rig here and the head bone, for example, can be in a different position here. You can use, for example, linking to link the head bone to the top of the spine and splines and IK and all that. But right now, we're just going to keep it simple right here. But what I want to do is I want to remove this bone right here. So I'll just select it and remove bone. And notice how the head bone is now pretty much going to snap to right here. All right, so I'm going to just isolate this right here. And in order to center it, I can just right click here. Now it's at zero. This is at zero. Simply right click all of them here. And the bone nub as well. So now they are all centered here. And I'll just copy a name from here. Here, I don't really need the underscore L. So I can just call it bone spine zero one bone spine zero two and bone head and bone nub for the head all right so let's select all the nubs and put them in their own layer here All right, sometimes a good idea just to kind of go over here, make sure everything's in its proper layer here. So notice that we need to change this right here. So let's select all of these bones on the right here. And we can simply use these same settings here. If we keep this script open here, it's gonna keep its same settings. We can just click on replace, remove from end, confirm, just make sure you got all the right names here. And we do get rid of the mirrored and change the L to an R right here. All right, there we are. So now what we can do is simply hide the nubs right here. So we can make bones active and hide the bone nubs right here. And so right now everything is kind of unlinked. So if we start to do some animation here, everything is kind of falling apart right here. So let's, for example, use the select and link tool and I can link the left thigh to spinal one, right thigh to spinal one. For example, left bicep to spinal two, right bicep to spinal two, left ear to head, right ear to head. So just kind of zoom out, make sure that everything is looking correct here. Making sure that the left side is all blue, right side is all green. And now we can do some animation right here.